This is your answer. Okay. The answer. Are you a Capricorn, Sun sign, Ascendant, Moon, or Venus? Who is finally making yourself free from any kind of fears? And you, Joiner, did they hurt you? Are you guys broken up? Well, both of you think of a question with yes or no. We added a crystal oracle reading at the end. And stay tuned, because this might be a reading. Yes, I'ma love you like you love Johnny Cash. I'll be your gangster, I'll be your man in black. I know what I'm doing, yeah, don't need a map. I got the juice to throw your train off the track. Oh, when I'm bad, I'm really good boy. When I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm better. All right, Capricorn, let's start your reading. Oh, I forgot. Did you guys know that you can just get your own crystal box? Okay. So there's six crystals inside of each of the boxes. This was this this came with a pouch. Okay. So now you can just get it on its own. So do check out your own zodiac um, or the other people's zodiac if you guys want to just gift it. It's a gift giving year. Okay. So so let's start here. Um, at the end we're gonna have of course the. Clear quartz is a yes. Tiger's eye is a no. So think of a question. I'll put it here all the way to the end. You guys can also see now the extended reading, a preview. You will see it. And then afterwards, I'll do the oracle. Okay, so stay all the way to the end so you can get your yes or no answer. Here we go. Career, finances, love, romantic connection is the oracle, the tribe. Mm -hmm. um, between the worlds. Oh, leaving someone? Happy, happy. Okay, well, leave it to the Capricorn. Okay, um, I feel that so that we will know it's Capricorn. Okay, hmm. um, I feel right now it can be a relocating. All right, going to a greener pasture, leaving your home. Let's just say you live with your parents or you live with your cousins, um, roommates. You are now being reborn this coming to uh, this coming weeks. To find your purpose in life by just doing what you want to do with your life. Independence, yes? The tribe here, mm -hmm. this is a reflection of, uh, how to say this? Of Because they say like who you are is who you surround yourself with. It's a reflection. You know, people who are in front of us is a reflection of us. It's a mirror of us, you know. Um, and this is what you're living in before, and those were, okay, the tribe. I'm not saying that they're bad for you, but you have outgrown them. You know, it can be like high school friends, college friends, right? You outgrow the environment. Now, if it's not about people, the environment. Like, okay, well, you've been living in, uh, in New York uh, or, um, you know, I don't know, Ohio or, you know, New, New Orleans. And then all you're saying is like, well, I'm going to move now. You know, this, the, you have outgrown. You live in the mountains. Now you want to go back to the city. You're in hermit mode, now you're going to come out, okay? Because this is between worlds. Mm -hmm. So it's a separation. Your old self, you're shedding your skin right now. Not a daily peel, but shedding, okay? Because you know what makes you happy. People are always trying to be happy without really going within. Once you go within, you will feel like, Oh, so really my happiness is just peace and quiet and as long as I have a donut. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> that's me. You know, give me a donut. Then, okay, life is good now. <laughs> so you're finding the key to your happiness. Ask yourself this coming week, what is the key to your happiness? And if you're going to put it outside, meaning, well, I like a, gar a car, Range Rover. I want to be with that person. Then those are temporary happiness, which we can. There's nothing wrong with that. But then, so every time you broke up with someone, then happiness is gone, relationship again. Or every time there's a new car, then the next, the next car, then the next car. So that's why we can never look at the happiness outside of us, but only within. Because the only time that the what is inside of us is coming out is if we're dead. <laughs> so <laughs> that's it. So you should be happy from within. Hey, love it. How we can? You're doing that. Oh, hey. Uh, monumental change. I love you coming out strong for 2021. Good. Let's see what's going on with your career finance. Ah, uh, not career finances. 
rewind <laughs> shadow card if you're perfect then you don't need to work on this then you should be an ascendant master already yes saying okay let's work on this peaceful among thorns i told you what is within my example of this is like i always for me i escape through yoga and meditation that's my escapism i'm addicted to that Something is not going well, I gotta do yoga, okay? But it should be, okay, something is not going wrong, practice your yoga within. It shouldn't, tend, you know, you shouldn't run away and go there. You should find it with you, all right? Your meditation, the practice is like, of course, this, you know, like aligning yourself and then, of course, with your breathing. But to calm and soothe yourself in the most chaotic time, that is the... Um, um, peaceful among thorns is what we are challenged. So let's work on that. How about that? I'm always constantly working on this and I feel like I am at 1% of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm finding peace and solace even though the world or in the environment or the uh, you know like what I'm in in that moment to find peace because inside me is peace. Outside me is not. So I have control of how I react and how I respond. I thank you. Where's my flowers? <laughs> tarot. All right. So here it is for the tarot. The Capricorn will be read here. It's a split reading. The joiner will have to stay here. We don't do cross-watching. It is frowned upon. It does not help you. You're going to wind up in tarot world for years. And it will resonate. And it never manifests. Congratulations. You're a cross-watcher. Now, as a joiner, any zodiac, you're here. Two Capricorns, there are other placements, so you can never be the same zodiac anyway. The sun, and you never use your sun sign to pair, to match dating. No, mm -mm. that's why you have your Venus, you have your Jupiter, you have your Mars. Yeah, okay, ascendant. There you go. So, tarot is fine. Okay, so let's see. Both will be read to feel so serious your ass down. <laughs> yeah, ace of swords, the truth. So, the truth. I don't like that I put oil because I can't. Snap. Okay. Ace of Swords. Oh, you know, coins on the joiner. You sit down, joiner. Ace of Swords. So the Capricorn is opening up. You are embarking on a new journey. I feel like you have separated from someone. This is a start. Okay. Ace of Swords. Love a new beginning. Victory, success, thoughts is what is Ace of Swords. This is also my paperwork. Um, it can, can be like LLC. Okay, not LL. <laughs> okay, LL Cool J. <laughs> LLC, business. You know, you are making your C Corp. Whatever corporation that you are, S Corp. Um, this is your visa. Not MasterCard visa processing to work abroad. This is a resume, Ace of Swords. This, for me, these are documents. So you could be like applying for a job, applying for a business permit, or, you know, changing citizenship. This is it. This is it, Ponset. Okay? That's love it. Love it. And that's, that's why the Ace of Swords has a crown. It's towards victory and success. So you have a bright idea? Well, you better work on that. Now, the joiner is a king of coins. So how's your money and career financials? It's looking good. Okay? So the king of coins here, um, you know, you could be another Capricorn because this is a Capricorn card. Stability, the premier, the best of the best with the earth sign. You know, that's why all the last zodiacs are really the perfection of the zodiac don't argue we're all here trying to perfect ourselves. you may be perfect in the past life and right now you're not <laughs> so you're, no i'm a taurus and I, no sit your ass down <laughs> you can't argue with a card it's just paper with the king of pentacles here it feels like you okay joiner taurus virgo can be another earth sign here you're in your a game you're in the sweet spot of success you know where you're going do you know and you're ignoring the capricorn the capricorn is going to talk to you where you're going to do you know how much dun, 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 dun. eight of swords what is this capricorn Ooh, empress someone has a lot of money okay um eight of swords with an ace of swords so capricorn you're scared to talk you're scared to text there was the momentum that you were really like okay i'm gonna go for it now sal and then you stop i don't know why Ace of Swords with Eight of Swords, you're trying to remove blockages from your life right now. It's mental anguish. This is your work. This is what you are working on. Now, this is normally use, useless thoughts. This is the feeling of trap, feeling of I can't, but you can, you totally can. It's just it's just a ribbon. Just remove it, okay? So this is when you overthink a situation and you start creating stories inside your head. Actually, that is just a story inside your head. It never is what you thought it would be. So, for example, reaching out, you feel like, oh, it's scary. I don't think so. 
The other person is an empress. So you, joiner, you are an entitled person. <laughs> yes, you are entitled. You may come from money, you know, family with wealth. You may come from an abundant, uh, you know, job, resources is given to you. You're a lucky person with the empress and you're smoking hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this is not about, oh, let's lift one side up and then the Capricorn will feel bad. No, that's just, you know, that in that creates cross-watching. We have to accept the message of the tarot, okay? So, um, with the Empress, you are living a life of comfort and luxury. You like the good things, and that's why you like the Capricorn. Exacto mundo. You can be Taurus or Libra. You wouldn't be here if you don't think that the Capricorn is on their A-game. You like the Capricorn. They just don't know if they like you. Capish. Mm -hmm. Takes two to tango. And you are who you date. So if you are right now an empress, then what does a Capricorn make them? An emperor. Exactly. Star card, I told you, they got their A game too. Because mm -hmm. we attract, you know, well, sometimes you attract flies. It depends if you haven't showered. Okay. <laughs> so take a shower. Oh, you're hurt by the Capricorn. Because the Capricorn is healing themselves with a star card. So the way it works here, come back. There can be an Aquarius also here. The Capricorn is wishing good for themselves this coming year. They're all about their dreams, desires, aspirations, travel. Star card is about I'm being recognized and coming out like I'm a butterfly. Do you, do you remember that movie? So from there, you know, they're going through this metamorphosis, which is good, especially that you have the between worlds. But I'm also hearing better world, okay? Hmm. So this is where you're going. The star, you are a person who, having the star card, this is a chance. If you're gonna step up and claim this, you're gonna be victorious. I'm not sure about the relationship, but there's something about big idea that you, your guides are telling you. Capish? Now, with the Three of Swords, you, joiner, settle down. What are you hurting? Okay? You feel like heartbroken. So the Capricorn doubts you. And then you don't doubt the Capricorn, but you just feel like, well, there's a little bit of like, Feeling not worth it because you're not recognized. You know, you're not acknowledged by them because the Capricorn is full of themselves. Because, hey, yeah, why not? You have to be full in order to give, okay? So they're trying to love themselves. So being full of yourself, you should be. People should be full because you keep, you know, falling in love with just a fool, then you are just going to be fooling around. But if you are in love with someone who's full of love for themselves, they will give you. Now, here, the Capricorn is doing that, but they're not sharing it with you. So you're heartbroken, and you guys get separated. Capish? Sal, come here, T-I-T-S down. <laughs> so let's see. You got six of wands. You're doing something good, Capricorn, with the three of pentacles with regards to your work. You're ignoring everybody. You feel like this is a start of a good idea, a great idea that can change your life. You do have suitors around you with the Six of Wands, and you could care less. Line them up, boys. Line them up. That's what the Six of Wands would say. And Three of Pentacles, you've learned your lesson. You've learned your lesson. Let me see here. Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. Ooh, someone wants to be back. And this is your Seventh House Cancerian energy over there. With the Queen of Cups, you love Joiner the Capricorn. With the Three of Cups, you want to start a casual conversation. Let's see... How are you, you know, like, hey, what are you doing? Very, very friendly. Friendly ap ap approach. Is this what I'm seeing here? Now, Capric um, Joiner, the Queen of Cups is this is your intuition. You're finally seeing it right now that you guys can be happy together. But I don't know what the Capricorn is looking at. And knowing them, this is about their stability. Coins, business school, you know, new you know, new venture, three of pentacles, because this is consulting other people. Now they can be, I don't sense, I sense that they're done. They graduated with their healing because they're follow, the Capricorn followed their guides, which is a star card. Once you follow and you don't question your guide and you just keep going, especially like, for example, speaking from, you know, what I've, you know, how I have gone through from being a chef, a pilot, all these things. And now I'm a reader. I just follow them. And then, you know, it's like, why am I not going to follow? Because the star is your guide and you follow it. Exactly. Think of your question. Yes or no. The reading is not over. Okay, it's not over. Um, I will get this now. Watch the extended preview after that. Yes or no. Um, the right path.
Okay? That's what's important for you. You know, five of chords in the five of cups in the two of two of ones, you are putting them to a side. You, the two of you, it's unrequited. You can care for them like, okay, I still care, but they care more. All right, Capricorn, so that was your extended preview. Ta ta ta. Okay, let's see now. I'm gonna bring it out first. Empty. All right, you got a clear quartz and you got a tiger's eye. Think of the question. You put it here and then here. Okay. Close it up. Guys, make sure you follow me on Salbiadora, my other channel. I'm vlogging for 365 days of my life. And do check this out at, um, at our website at eTreadLove.me. The extended will be found in the description box below. This is your answer. Okay. The answer is yes. All right. It's a clear quartz. So the oracle, the crystal oracle card is saying, or oracle card, crystal oracle is saying that it is yes to whatever you were thinking. Thank you very much guys for watching. I'll see you again.